My name is Peter Zalewski. I'm used to going last for the last level that Mike Zalewski, so I'm right kind of in my element. I was given the right, uh, right seat. Um, the start of the company in uh, 2006 called Condo Vulture, we come up on a five year anniversary in March, uh, so we're getting ready to celebrate. Got a lot of battle scars, but uh, really what we've been doing is we've been tracking the, the, the market from a data collection perspective. Former journalist, 12 years, financial journalist. Speak very fast, highly caffeinated. So if you have any questions afterwards, I'll try to fill them But you know, loose question was about the bank. Let, let me sort of tell you what we're seeing in the trenches. And we're, we're all about we're grinders. Uh, we're not polished. We're just grind, grind, grind. Um, last year, Florida led the state, uh, led the nation in bank failures with 29 bank failures, uh, roughly cost the FDIC two billion dollars. Overall, there's been about 159 bank failures throughout the United States. 2008 is really when they began. They really started to hit their pace in 2010. And the biggest bank failure down here in the state of Florida was Bank United. They got shut down in May of 2008. Uh, I will tell you, everybody New York came in. Uh, it was New York's board is what they're called. They came in. They're getting ready to go do an IPO, raise $600 million. They've been able to turn that whole portfolio around. They're selling about 2.5% of their portfolio annually under their terms with the FDIC. But this is a situation where, you know, some of the guys who got in early, like our other panelists had said, they're now looking at a situation where they might be able to get out uh, uh, sort of early. Real quick numbers um, in terms of uh, 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 shadow inventory. Shadow inventory is what everybody's talking about. I can tell you since January of 07 through the end of 2010, there's been 265,000 foreclosure filings. Palm Beach, Broward, Dade County. If you look at the 265,000, you'll find 121,000 have been taken back by banks. We went through and analyzed that the 121,000 properties taken back by banks since January 2000, 48% have been sold. So roughly 52% is still being withheld. Right now, if you look at what's available from the MLS, strictly resale, uh, and this is residential, it's not necessarily going to apply to multifamily, but I think it has a bearing. What you'll find is there's about 65,000 properties for sale Tri County wide right now. Of those 65,000, only 7% are bank owned. Um, the super majority is going to be people who simply have some type of equity or they're, not, they're marketing these properties that's not distressed. 27% are short sales. So really the banks, from what we can see, they're holding back uh, basically like all the other panelists. The panelists said, they're not bringing it yet to market. And my theory is it's a slow burn. Bring it out slowly because there's all these all-cash buyers running after this product. The likelihood is great that they're going to bid up the pricing and the banks are ready to hit for the most part. They're going to try to bring it out to market in a very controlled manner. So that, that's kind of what we're seeing in the trenches on a one-on-one field basis and a whole family um, uh, basis. Peter, you can have some of that coffee. <laughs> 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 you should be an auctioneer. <laughs>